Lucky pass. Right. Oh, yeah. Hello and welcome back. This is Jay. How are we doing today? So from today onwards, for the next few videos that I will be releasing will be a specific genre. So this time it's going to be World War II. So I had suggested my patrons over at Patreon to propose World War II movies and some really good ones came up and we'll watch the first three that was highly voted. And the first one we have is surprise, <laughs> not a surprise, it is Saving Private Ryan. So it has been in my wish list for a long time and I did not get the opportunity to watch it yet. So I'm so excited to watch it. I All I know about it is it's going to be a World War II movie and I'm not sure what, what it is about, like which parties are being involved. Is it the Germans? Is it just the Americans? Or is it the British? Who the Russians? I don't know who's involved in it. As always, there's it's it's a mystery for to me. And if you like the video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And as always, you can find all the full length reactions along with my full outros over at Patreon. The link to Patreon you can find down below in the comment. So without further ado, let's join to see. Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan. Oh, the family is following the grandfather? It seems very sad. Oh. It's a memorial. So this is this must be a reflection on his story. This is the detail. Dual sex. So heartbreaking to watch soldiers. Waste ammo. Stand out of your weapon. Keep those actions clear. And I'll see you on the beach. <laughs> 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 Ah, actually politicians do it just for ideologies sending men of just numbers Start dragging one person, then halfway through he is half of him is First wave ineffective. We do not hold the beach. Say again. We do not hold the beach. Ah. Get He's 
each of these guys are someone's child, someone's brother, someone's husband. Gather weapons and ammo! advantage of an elevated position in an a war is insane isn't it it's absolutely insane long time ago there were fortresses even though there was no gunpowder but then every time the elevated position gives you the ultimate you made it there Oh, okay, I'm near it. They don't get shot. Two MG42s, two mortars, that 20, left 30. No, no, no! Ooh. Goddamn firing squad. The only way we can get everybody the hell out of here is die! Covering fire! Just such a disadvantage because they're in these lower points. Those people up there just have to duck down and just start firing. And Fire discipline. Wait for my command. So weird. You're not that far from me, oh lord. Still another human, yeah. It's more like a revenge now because they are brothers. What do you say? What do you say? Fair enough. When you go as brothers and you get killed in this hundreds like this. <laughs> the package these people will carry home if they get to go home. I mean, trauma. There have been eternity for these soldiers who actually faced it. Was it worth it in the end? To ask the world leaders, was it really worth it? It's, it's a very interesting shot. We see dead fish on the seashore, how it affects us. There are dead men surrounded by dead fish. Dear Mr. Brian Boyd, no doubt by now you have received full information. Dear Mrs. Johnson, I'm glad whose dangerous duty is to place itself in which we all cherish and hold so dear. Don't tell me it's their stops. Has been so since. These two men died in Normandy. This one in Omaha Beach. Sean Ryan. This man at Utah. Oh. Same friend? This man was killed last week in New Guinea. The three men are brothers, sir. I've just learned that this afternoon their mother's going to be getting all three telegrams. <laughs> I think she knows.
He was dropped about 15 miles inland near Newville. But that's still deep in the uh, Mac, there is no way you can know where in the hell he was dropped. The boy's alive. We are gonna send somebody to find him. And we are gonna get him to hell. Out of the child is the world to that mother. If we don't offload those dual drive Shermans by 0600, we're going to have an entire division stuck at Caravan with its pants around its ankle. We took out Toad 88s here, here, and here. They'd already gotten four of our Shermans and a number of our deuce and a half. We're 35 dead, times two wounded. We just didn't want to give up those 88s. I've got another one for you. Yes, sir. This one's straight from the top. What? No, after going through that, can they handle it? Too much help. Some private in the 101st lost three brothers and he's got a ticket home. We got anybody who speaks French? Not that I know of. As you were, I'm looking for Corporal Upham yes, Timothy E. I'm Upham, sir. I understand you speak French and German? Yes, sir. Hey, grab Thanks, your sir. gear. I'm going to a place called Newville. Yes, when yes, was this it's a club. Uh, sir, sir. It just if you consider I've never been in combat, sir, I make maps and I translate, and that's... I need someone who speaks. Well, then get your gear. Yes, sir. Oh, sir. God. Yes. For one thing, you don't need to carry those. You'll need that. Need yes, oh, oh, oh. It's amazing. There's war going on, and there's these peaceful animals. Sheep's running around. Hey, don't you ever fucking touch me with those little rat claws again? Get the fuck back in formation. Gotcha. And another thing, every time you salute the captain, you make him a target for the Germans. So do us a favor, don't do it. I mean, where's the sense of risking the lives of the eight of us to save one guy? Upon's talking about our duty as soldiers. Yes, sir. We all have orders and we have to follow them. That supersedes everything, including your mother's. Hey, so, Captain, what about you? I mean, you don't gripe at all? I don't gripe to you, Riven. I'm a captain. He's a chain of command. Gripes go up, not down. <laughs> He's good. I love him. Since this movie started, I've been crying. I think that last few couple of minutes is when I actually could smile. Supposed. We're here for a private Ryan. Who? Ryan? What for? Is he here? Oh. Ryan, where's the cabin from? If you get that one out, you got yourself a nice pride. Killing me. <laughs> I need a wheelchair before this war is over. Oh, that's it. Know where the Germans are. We want us to take the children. No, no, no. We can't take the kids. No, can't take the kids. No, can't take the kids. Are you nuts? Listen to the captain. Are you nuts? Please. Listen to the captain. Please, sir. Kapoizov, get the kid back up there. Captain, the decent thing to do is to at least take you down the road to the next town. We're not. Take this goddamn kid. It's a really beautiful shot. Some recall soldiers holding on to a German kid and the Nazis from the other side shooting them. Oh no 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 put Stop it and send it No it's just stop. Oh That's why we can't take children. Jackson, sir! Mellon, check the tower, hustle back here. Right now, go! Thunder!
That is insane. That was an insane scene. We've got a handle. Pathfinders, Hunter. We're here looking for a Private James Ryan. He's part of your outfit. Any chance at all you police? Sir, Private Ryan recording is ordered. At ease. Captain Miller, Second Rangers. Wants a word. Private, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. As long as you say it, your brothers are dead. We have uh, orders to come get you. It can't be. My brother's still in grammar school. James Francis Ryan, Mile. James Frederick Ryan, Minnesota? What does that Does that mean my brothers are okay? Yeah, I'm sure they're They okay. gave the I'm news sure to the wrong okay, person. For a different private Ryan. This is just a big foul up. My man are beat. We're going to hold up here about three hours. We'll pull out after dark. Portsmouth when they brought us down for embarkation and comes and goes. How did you get to be a ranger? <laughs> he got shot in the foot once, didn't he? And he was walking on his hands. Well, when my mother was an intern, she used to um, work late through the night, sleep through the day. Only thing is, sometimes she'd come home early. And I'd pretend to be asleep. And I knew she just wanted to find out about my day. But she came home early. Things that come to your head when you are in a situation like this. Medic! My bleeding! He needs a Wade! Yes, sir. See what you can do. Yes, sir. Soldier, you want to fill me in? Uh, yeah, Lieutenant DeWin, sir. 99-2 Carrier Squadron carrying in 327th Glider Infantry. A lot of guys coming in out of here. Up them. Yes, sir. Check out that squad. See if Ryan's in it. Some fucking genius had the great idea of welding a couple of steel plates onto our deck to keep the general safe from ground fire. Unfortunately, they forgot to tell me about it until we were just getting out. The grass was wet. Downward slope and all. 22 guys dead. All that for a general? One man. A lot of that going around. Maybe we should bust up in a couple of different groups, huh? We wander the woods like Hansel and Gretel call on his name. He's bound to hear us sooner or later. Ryan! Oh. Ryan! Anybody know Ryan? 101st Airborne? Ryan? You know a guy named Ryan? Private James Ryan from Iowa? Hey, Joe! Doesn't, uh, Mandelson pal around with a Ryan from C Company? Yeah, I think so. Well, bring him up here, would you? You know Private Ryan? You're gonna have to speak up, You're sir. gonna have to speak up, so sir! Good. My hearing is not goes. so good! Ger Write this down. James Francis Ryan, question mark, Iowa, question mark. Do, do you know him? D does he know him? It, read the message. Yeah, of course I know him, sir. Does he know where he is? Him, me, and a couple other guys were coming here to the rally point. Ran into a colonel who was gathering up men to go to, uh... Ramel. To babysit a bridge. That's the last I seen of him, great. sir. Great, Th Thank you, thank you, right, thank you. Read, read, and thank you. The composing bodies. Some nice oh, looks like we got something in that. Captain. We can still skip it and accomplish our mission. I mean, this isn't our mission. You just want to leave it here so they can ambush the next company that comes along? No, sir, that's not what I'm saying. I'm simply saying it seems like an unnecessary risk. Sir, I just, uh, I don't have a good feeling about this one. Three, three runners with suppressing fire. Mellish, you hook to the right. I'll go up to middle. Who's going left? I'll go left. All right. Up and switch off with Jackson, and you linger in the rear. <gasps> no! No! Did you see that? Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy. 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 Easy
I could use a little morphine. I think they should pump him with some morphine. Oh, guys, it's so much pain. I want to go home. I want to. The blame is gonna go on the captain. I think that's really heartbreaking that these guys are calling their body. First, make a mark and cover Wade's body for grave detail. Please don't shoot him. I don't care what he says, Alvin. Please. I like America. I say, can you see? I say, can you see? I, I say, you know this prisoner he surrendered. He surrendered, sir. Tell him to march a thousand paces in that direction. Yeah, only if he doesn't get picked up by his own Vermont first and then thrown back into circulation. Cam, you just let the enemy go. This is such bullshit. You all got that? But I guess that was the uh, decent thing to do. Right, Captain? You heard him gear up. Captain just gave you an order. Yeah. I swear, I hope Mama Ryan's real fucking happy knowing that little Jimmy's life is a little bit more important than two of our guys. Gear up. I'm not to ask you again, soldier. Captain! Uh, now this is bullshit. Fall in. Fall in. You gonna shoot me over, Ryan? No, I'm gonna shoot you because I don't like you. Hey, everybody is under so much pressure. You are a coward son of a bitch! I'm waiting, son. Sir, I'm what's waiting. What's the pull on me up to right now? I'm a school teacher. I teach English composition. In this little town called Abley, Pennsylvania. In the last 11 years, Sometimes I wonder if I've changed so much. My wife is even going to recognize me whenever it is I get back to her. And how I'll, I'll ever be able to to tell her about days like today. You know, if going to Ramel and finding him so he can go home, if that earns me the right to get back to my wife, well then, then. That's my mission. All right, I won't stop you. I'll even put in the paperwork. It's so true, isn't it? At the end, what do you? What is in it for you? Just try to get back home. I think that was the ideal way to break that whole fight. I really like how they show this beautiful nature. And then this rock cover! Oh, they are in the middle of some crossfire! Easy Company 501st. Ryan, first and 506. Gibson telling me third and 506. James Francis, Ryan? Yes, sir. How'd you guess that? You're not gonna like how they guessed it. Your brothers were killed in combat. You're, you're going home. Our orders are to bring you back. I have my orders too, sir. They don't include me abandoning my post. I understand that, but this changes. Gather your gear. Sir, what about them? I mean, there's barely hardly hey, enough of this. Two of our guys already died trying to find you, all right? It doesn't make any sense, sir. Why? Why, me? Why do I deserve to go? Why not any of these guys? They all fought just as hard as me. 
Tell her that when you found me, I was here, and I was with the only brothers that I have left. And that there's no way I was going to deserve I feel for him. I feel for his mother. I feel for these people. Part of me thinks the kid's right. What's he done to deserve this? But another part of me thinks, what if by some miracle we stay and actually make it out of here? If we do that, we all earn the right to go home. Unless we can draw them up this main road here in between these buildings where all the rubble makes a bit of a bottleneck. Jackson, if we can, I could get you up in that bell tower. Yes, sir. Give you a little company if you need it. We could hit the tank in the tracks. Yeah, but with what? You know, we could try a sticky bomb. Sticky bomb, sir? Rig up a simple fuse, and you coat the whole thing with axle grease. That way, when you throw it, it's... I think through this man, we see this war uh, from a bit of a civilian point. I feel like it's more like how we would see it as a civilian, from a civilian point of view, which is good. And he's the one who's trying to just bring that human touch in his way. Not the others are inhuman, but they have this brother who the things they have gone through, they have a fair kind of a decision making there and there's nothing right or wrong in this being the best we can do, the forward machine gun's not in a terrible firing position. This is the Alamo. They push us back this far, last man alive, blows the bridge. So you gotta be Johnny on the spot with the ammo. Or we're dead. Right. You understand that? Johnny on the spot. Quite a situation, huh? Unbelievable. Yeah. Fucked up. Sometimes I dream. That I'm in your arms. What was that part? She 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 of sang that before. Of course. Um, uh, to be honest with you, I, I find myself curiously aroused by you. And <laughs> <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> Is it true you were a teacher back home? <laughs> yes. I can't see my brother's faces. Well, you don't just think about their faces. You think about something specific. Something you've done together. Two of my brothers came and, and woke me up in the middle of the night. I said, Dad, a surprise for me. <laughs> I mean, picture a girl who just took a nosedive from the ugly tree and hit every branch coming down. <laughs> this, and she screams and she jumps up and she tries to get running out of the barn, but she's still got this shirt over her head. She goes <laughs> running right into the wall and knocks herself. He loses the shovel, goes out of his grasp, it hits a kerosene lantern. The thing explodes. The whole barn almost goes up because of this thing. That was the last, that was, Dan went off to basic the next day. That was the last night the four of us were together. What is coming? Oh, the tanks. Sounds of the tanks. Tiger tanks, two of them. Panzer tanks, two of them. Infantry, 50 plus change. Good luck, Robin. I don't need any luck, Sarge. I was born lucky. Up them. Hustle up. Closing. Where did it stop?
be a target for someone. <gasps> no. Oh. To help your soldiers, but that needs your help. Let's stop! Let's stop! Let's stop! 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 he also understood these guys like going through such trauma oh. 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 where did that come from oh. Isn't that the guy? He is the guy. Yes, it's the POW. <gasps> oh, the same man who let him go. The one man up on Seb is the first man he killed, yeah? That was him. Every day, I think about what you said to me that day on the bridge. I hope that at least in your eyes, I earned what all of you have done for me. 
so welcome back i've just watched the movie what do i think about it i think this is the only first movie that i cried from start to the end that was really insane it was truly insane seeing the movie and then because i have seen what real life war can be not that i've been in the war but i have seen the effects of it first hand with my own eyes i can definitely see there is they have brought so much realism into the wounds how the soldiers may look like or whoever is bombed up shot can look like so there was so much realism in it for me which was sad but i appreciate it because this was a real situation a real scenario of world war 2 so when i was so i had like i said i had no idea this is going to be on the d day but when the date came on the 6th of june 1944 i was like okay this here we go this is not going to be good i don't know whether this was a real story or not and i had like i said i had no idea this was a steven spielberg's movie either so 10 out of 10 for a fantastic movie super backed in like super performances superb setting and absolutely realistic effects it's sickeningly realistic so that is the re reality of war it was really heartbreaking when they the boys the guys were calling mom when they were just taking their last breaths Mama! Mama! and then this single families having lost multiple children which is again not unusual during world war ii especially but it's all the futility of war isn't it at the end of the day i mean this movie for me it was all the futility of war like there was nothing to celebrate actually what did you win what did we win in the end we lost thousands and thousands of lives that's what we did and i really like having corporal open in the in this whole setting because i feel like so he was a clerk who was having a bit of a comfy job he had reading his maps doing his maps and doing his translations and things like that but he is not a combat person so when he was sent to the front even though he has been trained to fire a rifle in the basic training he's he has not being in the front and being in the combat in real life i think it was good to have that kind of a char character in it because it brought in the point of view from a civilian mindset when we see it like i think most of us will actually see the war the way corporal often did maybe some of the weavers get may get frustrated because he was crying and he was in at a state of shock for a long time when he was much needed where his colleague was his friend was dying upstairs who was being killed by the the german nazi forces at the nazi side and then his other the friends who were in the outside um needed so badly needed the ammo and he was just frozen in the stair the staircase and uh, i think some of the viewers may get frustrated but for me i think it was realistic it's not the frustration i think for us who have not been in the forefront of this kind of a war if you are thrown into it and you are not conditioned the same way the other soldiers are conditioned in and the other soldiers actually i think go through something more similar in, internally but they have been conditioned to suppress those things there, there is a lot of ways that you brainwash soldiers as well right sometimes you just want them to operate without taking things emotionally so then i, I think i i think it was it, really good to have the corporal he tried to think about things in this human way and the logical way and he was trying to come and talk about the brotherhood where actually these men actually had the extremely strong brotherhood the a bonding that had been built but for him he was seeing it in a different way 
but then he obviously understood how close they were at the same time how disturbing this whole situation was for him as a normal human also i truly like this movie having this impact of it started with all this old very sad old man who went to this cemetery the memorial and it ended with the same sad old man i think it, this whole movie is when this showed this full circle of futility of war and then just think the mental trauma this person has been going through he lost three of his brothers he lost so many other brothers in his company and in his the troops that he was with and then he also lost the man who actually brought in a whole troop where they actually lost two people on the way as well to come and rescue him and go back home so they can bring him to his mother i think that mental trauma of seeing so many things that he can't actually go and tell anyone afterwards i'm sure he could not like many of these world war 2 veterans and the other veterans who went to, through the war recently and in the past few decades as well there are so many things you can't actually share with your family because your family wouldn't understand what you have gone through and sometimes if you sometimes actually say what you have done your family may not be able to comprehend what you have done as a as a thing that you had to do for your life sometimes you they may look at you like an inhuman person right so that's that's the whole thing like you can't actually open up like, that way to the normal person uh, unless you can actually open up to another veteran or person who has actually gone through the same thing as you or a similar situation youtube back in analytics shows me that sadly only 5 to 6% of my viewers watch my videos till the end that includes all my long and detailed outros that have my quotes takeaways and my movie commentary so moving forward all my youtube reactions will have much shorter outros and any of you who are interested can watch the full length outro along with my full length movie reaction over on my patreon page to clarify to everybody a full length movie reaction means a full movie runs behind in the background while i react to the entire thing therefore it's a combination of the full movie along with my full reaction to it there are no heavy editing in my full length reactions like you see on the youtube videos because there are no copyright issues the movie is not mirrored no cuts all the dialogue and the music is available along with all the scenes of the movies which are sometimes missing on the youtube videos again due to copyright issues any of you who enjoy my videos over here will definitely like my videos over at patreon where the content is completely ad free and you have early access and also you get to vote for what movies i should watch next so this is just an update for you i hope you have a lovely day wherever you are